All right, everybody. Welcome to 2024. Today is the 2nd of January. It's the first trading day in the new year. What I'm going to do is um, I'll be looking at the Cooler Maggie setup candidates for the month of January 24. So um, just like every month, we basically look at um, stocks that have been going up at least 25% over the last month or at least 50% ideally more over the last three months. Um, when we look back at um, the same exercise for December, so what I did a month ago, we ended up getting 44 stocks that were up more than 25% on a month. You can still see them here. And one thing to notice, as you can see from the last trading day of 2023, when the market does not cooperate, these momentum stocks, even though they were very strong, you know, over several weeks, will also go down. Um, so you need to have market awareness, also known as situational awareness, to understand when the right time is to actually buy those stocks and let the, the profits basically develop, right? But if you're off and the market is not cooperating with those momentum stocks then you will get days like these where you might get a mara being down 16 and a half percent or riot down 12 percent right you might get something like iron q down six percent right and there's more stuff here you know beam went down a firm went down etc right so you got to be mindful of what the market is doing so the market analysis the index Analysis is very important. I believe it's way more important than trying to find individual stocks because, again, if the market doesn't give you the right context, the right environment, it will be extremely difficult to make money. So 44 tickers we had for December and we had seven for the last quarter of 2023, right? starting with, um, or actually I should say it's an additional month back. So... As of December 1st, we had, you know, those seven stocks that were up more than 50% over the previous three months back then, right? You will see and find the same, basically the same names that you have in the other list. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to clear the list and the other one as well. There we go. And now we're going to use the stock screener to give us the um, market leaders. As always, I'm going to show you, let me just change here to one month. I'm going to show you the settings here for the screener. So we want to see a lot of volume. So at least half a million shares traded every day, share price above 10 bucks. And we want to see a market cap of, of at least 2 billion and a volatility per month of 4%, which means that this is roughly the daily percentage change. So we want to have stocks that move, right, which is in line with Kulamegi criteria for the ADR. The ADR here in TradingView um, is based on absolute dollar terms, so that's not going to help you. You need to have an approximation, which is the volatility on a monthly basis per day being about 4%. This is why we have this setting here. And pretty much everything else is very easy. So when I do this and I sort them by the monthly change, I can do this here because we haven't yet opened for today. Um, once we do that, um, those numbers are going to be completely different because it will always then take into consideration the current month's performance. Um, and in order to um look at the um the other sorry this is not the right one is it volatility no where's that setting for it i always try to to find that somewhere just right click change filter what is change filter no that's still volatility that's not right there should be um another setting to the right hand side where you can actually select you know, additional columns and stuff like that. So you would have to have to look for, for wait, if I just remove this, what happens? See, there it is now, right? Column setup. 
So if this was an ongoing month, if you come in a little bit late, so to say, and you, for example, if you come in after the open today or tomorrow, or end of the week, where you want to find out what are the, the strongest moving stock over the last month, um, you would then have to use this, the monthly performance right down here. Right? We can also select it now. Um, year to date, we don't need yearly, we don't need all time. Frame. Let, let me just um, remove a few that we don't really need to look at monthly. Free month, okay. Year to date, all time, etc. This is six months. Free month performance, right? So you get something like this. This is what it looks like. So you can now see that monthly performance versus one month percent exchange is roughly the same. Um, it's still a tiny bit of a difference, but you will end up getting the same candidates out of it. And then obviously, um, you know, you have to do something sim similar with three month performance if you come in late, right? But this is all good right now. So what we're going to do is we um, basically already sorted them here. So we're going to pick all the ones that are up at least 25% over the last month. You can see it's quite a number of, of stocks still. And if it's 24.6 or something, yeah, well, let's, we, we could take them in as well, but um, I just like to make a hard cut, um, you know, before it's, it's too many, but we can also take Bill, even Hertz and GCOS or whatever it's called. We can still take them, but we, we're not going to make the cut at 24 and a half, right? Uh, that's good enough. So if we add them to the watch list, we now get uh, even a little bit more than we had last month. So 44 last month, now we have 53. And then we're gonna do the same thing here with the three month performance. Now scroll back up and select the ones that are up at least 50%. I would really like to see more than that. So we're not taking 40% or anything, at least 50. Um, and now we, you can already see, we also have quite a bit more than we had the previous, uh, previous uh, or last time. Well, we only had seven. So I'm going to be a bit stricter here, maybe. Um, maybe select something that's up at least 60%. But, yeah. But you know what? Let's just leave it at, at that. Because if you, you have to take into consideration how many months has the market actually been working at all with stocks going up 25% on a month. This is only, it's only been like that for two months. So let's not be too strict right now, but as of next month, I'm going to be strict. I'm going to say, okay, you need to be up at least 70% or 60%. So let's add them to the watch list. You can see here, we now have 25, right? Which is, which is quite a number now, obviously, right? And obviously there's some crazy stuff here um, as well, but um, that is what it is. So since we now have quite a number of, of stocks, I mean, I'm not going to go for all of them. Right? This is just something that you should do by yourself. Um, you know, this is the strongest performer here. Something like that, right? Which is obvious, obviously, you know, something really happened here. It doesn't even have to do with earnings or anything. So you have to do research on this one. Cytokinetics, maybe it's a biotech thing or whatever. Mara obviously is is crypto related. Had had quite a run, right? And then yeah, everything else here is basically you know something that you know you have to look at the the mythology for selecting um, proper setups, Kula Maggi style, which is a pullback, consolidation, tight consolidation, and then. A potential move for for a second leg up. I mean, it's obviously uh, clear that last trading day of the year, uh, some stuff you know was taken off the books, and some you know stocks that had to quite a run up. You know there there was some liquidation ta taking place there as well. Um, I mean that's that's just normal. That's why it was a pretty red day for those stocks uh, for the last trading day of the year. So Kula Maggi uh, methodology, I mean, I talked about this in in previous videos about Kula Maggi. There are not that many on my channel, so you can easily find the relevant ones. They all have Kula Maggi in the title where I can explain 
the methodology. The very first video I made also has a link to Jack Corsellis, I think his name is, who has explained the methodology in great detail. That's a pretty good video. It's linked in the description there. Um, but you can easily find more resources online to understand what Kulamegi is doing. Kulamegi also um, published a stream, um, I guess about two weeks ago, um, for the first time in a while. Um, here's the thing, right? He said that he doesn't trust the markets 100% right now, and that um, he's, he's quite cautious about this. Um, he notices that um, breakouts might not work properly. Um, so he has been focusing on uh, episodic pivots, which has to do with company-specific fundamental news that really can affect the stock price longer term. So, you know, very positive earnings, for example, um, or news releases, you know, that have quite a sustainable, you know, edge for, for the company and product development or whatever it is, uh, business outlook, guidance, you know, sales guidance or whatever. Uh, those are the ones that can that can give you episodic pivots. If we look at uh, the names here in this list, um, I I would argue that we don't really have many new names, right? Like most of the names here um, are well-known stocks that had their heyday um, and they're just bouncing. Like Bill here is one of them, right? Um, this hurts. Locus. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's more of a new story. But if you look at it historically, it's just a chop stock that tends to have its run, and that's pretty much it. And it might collapse again, right? Um, I think MP or MP materials. Okay, that's something else. But also, that's that's just a bounce, right? We don't know what's gonna come out of this bounce moving forward, but. You can see that this is not a super new stock, right? Moderna is also bouncing, right? These are, I, I, you know, it depends on the stock. Sometimes they might just be dead cat bounces. Here's Zoom Info, another high flyer. You have a lot of these names, um, you know, also GitLab here that went public at the end of 21, and then was just straight down. Um, you know, yeah, there are a lot of known names here, right? A lot of chop stocks are in here. DocuSign, one of those bounces. Unity, Coin, you know, like Upstart. This this one here, Twist Bioscience. That's also not nothing. Anything new. Carvana is not new. Mara is not new. Sprint, I think this. No, sorry, Sentinel One. That's not new. There's a firm. We we know a lot of these names. A lot of these names. That's why there's no new generation of stocks. That's the problem. A lot of money has been flowing into the big tech names because people are worried about inflation eating up their savings. So they just pushed it into the stock market. And they said safe haven in tech. That's the big names. Your Google, your, uh, your NVIDIA, maybe your Apple or Amazon, uh, your Tesla maybe, um, you know, Microsoft. Um, those are the big names, and they, they put money into those names, right? Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. You you get the gist of it. We're getting more, uh, you know, stocks that are performing. Obviously, you also get a repetition of the names on the three-month, um, you know, three-month leaders. Um, and, yeah, you can you can just look at these. You know, there's Robin Hood here. You know, there are also dead cat bounces. Like, this is for me is a dead cat bounce, right? Um, Chewy is here, you know, all this kind of stuff. Well, this is old, old stuff, right? Okay, so I hope that was somewhat informative to at least identify the candidates, but you have to look at them yourselves. And you have to be careful in this market. This is not a broad bull, bull market right now. All right, take care. Talk to you later. Bye.